Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Welcome to 15 Minutes with the Captain. I am Captain Zakar, and to my right, Soldier Joshua. And we're going to go over what is the gospel. Let's get into it here. Uh, let's go to the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. This is for all those that, you know, don't quite understand precept upon precept what Christ is talking about. We're going to give it to you here today. Mark, chapter 1, let's read 14, 15. The book of Mark, chapter 1, and verse 14. Yep. Now, after that, John was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God uh -huh. and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Believe the gospel, because far too many times people say to us on the street, that's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't know what the hell the gospel is, but we're going to give you the precepts and understanding here. Let's go to Isaiah 61. And one, what does gospel truly mean? What's the meaning of that? Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings. Preach what? Good tidings. Gospel means good tidings. But preach the gospel of the good tidings to who? Unto the meek. Uh -huh. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To the captives, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We are the captives. Read. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Who's in the prisons? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That is, the gospel is the good tidings that you can repent. We are the Israelites. Let's move on. Let's go to Acts 13. And let's read 32, 33. Acts chapter 13 and verse 32. And we declare unto you glad tidings. Glad tidings. Read. How that the promise which was made unto the fathers, God hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, uh -huh. and that he hath raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm. Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. So the glad tidings is that Jesus Christ came and died for our sins as the nation of Israel, right? Let's go, let's get some more on it. First Corinthians chapter 15, let's read one through three. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse one. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, the which, gospel. which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, uh -huh. unless ye have believed in vain. Read. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. So Christ dying for the nation of Israel is a part of the gospel. Let's, pro let's prove that, that these Corinthians are Israelites, that Christ died for their sins. Go to the book of Acts. And let's read 5, and I believe it's 31, right? Go ahead. The book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 31. Him hath God exalted, which is Jesus Christ, with his right hand, to be a prince and a savior, uh -huh. for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. For sins. So those Corinthians we read about that are the brothers of Paul are the Israelites living in Corinth. Let's go to the book of uh, Acts chapter 1, and let's read verse 6. We're talking about what is the gospel. Read that. 
Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Will thou again restore the kingdom to Israel? Let's get it to that kingdom. Go to Daniel chapter 2. And let's read verse 44. Remember, we're talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Read the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom uh -huh. which shall never be destroyed. Never be destroyed. Read. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It won't what? Be left to other people. Now we understand why that brother asked Christ, will you again restore the kingdom to Israel again, because it's not going to be what? Read that again. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It won't be for other people. The kingdom is not for all nations. Read. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. It shall stand forever. Let's go to Daniel chapter 7, and let's read 27. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole earth uh -huh. shall, under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Who's the saints of the most high? You know it on. Let's give me give me um Psalms 50 and 5. Let's show who the saints of God is. Make it real easy to understand what's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Psalms chapter 50, verse 5. The book of Psalms, chapter 50, and verse 5. Gather my saints together uh -huh. unto me. Read. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those that made a covenant with God by sacrifice were the Israelites. Those are the saints of God. Go back to Daniel chapter 7. Read 27 again. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven uh -huh. shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. The Israelites, read, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Jesus the Christ. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6. Now, why are we going here? Because uh, uh, too, far too many people think heaven is going to be up in the skies, and you're going to be a little naked black baby and white babies and angels floating around on a cloud. That is Greek mythology. That is not the kingdom of heaven. Read that in Matthew 6. Let's read 9 and 10. The book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Uh -huh. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come where? Thy will be done in earth. Thy kingdom come to earth, read, as it is in heaven. The kingdom of heaven that is for the Israelites will be on earth. Let's get that in Isaiah chapter 2. And let's read verse 4 to see how the kingdom is going to function here on earth when it comes. Read that. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares uh -huh. and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Uh -huh. Neither shall they learn war anymore. This is proof that the real Jews are not in Israel right now. If the real Jews, the real people of God, the Israelites were in Jerusalem, thus saith the Lord, there would be no more war. And they are at war constantly since they got there since 1948 with the Muslims, the Palestinians, the Iranians, all the time. Proof that the real Jews are not in Israel right now. Let's go to Isaiah 54 to get some more on the kingdom. Isaiah 54, let's read 11 through 14. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 11. Uh -huh. O thou afflicted. Who's Paul, afflicted? The Israelites. You blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Read. Tossed with tempest and not comforted. Uh -huh. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. So God's describing how the kingdom's going to look. It's going to have what? Fair colors. It's going to have sapphires in it. Read. And I will make thy windows of agates, uh -huh. and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. Read. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, 
and great shall be the peace of thy children. Your children are going to have peace. They're not going to have to worry about going out and getting racially profiled and ending up on a T-shirt. They're not going to have to worry about the, the Negroes in the hood that will kill them over a, a pair of shoes. We won't have to worry about that. Great shall be the peace of thy children. Read verse 14. Verse 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established. The commandments will be applied in the kingdom of heaven. Read. Thou shalt be far from oppression. Woo, read. For thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Near thee. Let's go to uh, what we want here. Uh, Revelation chapter 21. Let's get some more on the kingdom. Revelation chapter 21, and let's start at 10 through 12. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God. It was so beautiful. It looked like it came out of the heavens from God. He's speaking of what? The kingdom of heaven. Because he said what? Holy Jerusalem. Let you know it's going to be on earth. Read. Having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. A, pre a precious stone. Read. Even like a jasper a stone. A jasper stone. Clear as crystal. As a crystal. Go ahead. And it had a wall great and high. And it had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. And names written thereon. Uh -huh. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom is for the children of Israel, not for other people. Let's jump down to verse 18. Verse 18. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper. Jasper stones, go ahead. And the city was pure gold. Gold everywhere. And we ain't talking about no Trinidad James gold. We talking about most precious gold. Read. Like unto clear glass. That's how beautiful the gold was. You can see your reflection in the gold. That's how it's going to be. Read. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. Uh -huh. The first foundation was jasper. The second, sapphire. The third, a chalcedony. The fourth, an emerald. Uh -huh. The fifth, sardonyx. The sixth, sardius. The seventh, chrysolite. The eighth, beryl. The ninth, a topaz. The tenth, a chrysoprasus. Uh -huh. The eleventh, a jacinth. The twelfth, an amethyst. Uh -huh. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Twelve pearls in the gates with all these precious stones built into the walls. Read. Every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold. It was what? Was pure gold. Uh -huh. As it were transparent glass. That is a beautiful kingdom to come. Let's go to Baruch chapter 2 and let's read verse 30. Let's get some more on that kingdom. Remember, we're going over the gospel of Jesus Christ. Read that Baruch 2 and let's read verse 30. The book of Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. Yep. For I knew that they would not hear me, uh -huh. because it is a stiff-necked people. That is us, the Israelites. We won't hear it, and we won't believe it until we see it. Read. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. But through the oppression in the land of our captivities, through the, the Lord pouring his spirit back out on the sons of God and the prophets hitting the street, you will begin to remember yourself. Remember who you truly are. Jump down to verse 34. Verse 34, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised. In that land of Jerusalem, which he what? Which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, uh -huh. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. We are going to be our own landlords of our own land with all those precious stones, that streets of pure gold that looks like glass. You can see your reflection in it and the, wa the windows having all manner of precious stones. We are going to be landlords of our own land. No more rent. Thank God for that. <laughs> no more mortgage bills. Thank God for that. <laughs> it's coming. Read. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. Uh -huh. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God uh -huh. and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. So the gospel of Jesus Christ is that he came and died for the nation of Israel's sins, that they may receive the kingdom of heaven on earth for eternity. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC, 
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.